welcome back to my channel it is Brittany so in today's video I have another human hair wig review for you guys today's video is brought to you again by OMG her hair shout out to them for sponsoring today's video I have this gorgeous curly short wig uh, for you guys so if you are interested in seeing how I got her together then keep on watching shout out to anybody who is new here stopping by please consider subscribing before you leave I do a little bit of everything on here a lot of hair and wig content I do some makeup content I do clothing hauls and home decor as well so if that sounds like something you're interested in please consider subscribing shout out to my return of subscribers and my premiere squad for watching this with me if you would like to be a part of premiere squad all you have to do is subscribe and turn on your notifications and YouTube will inform you when I do uploads it's Q4 so I've been doing three four I'm gonna have one week of like five uploads but you know <laughs> I typically do three or four uploads a week if you want to see how I got this week together, then just keep on watching. I want to see you, see you how. Rewind, when we rewind. Feels so nice. We time, you I know how to make me feel right. I can't help how. Let this sweet talk.
Okay, so we are back. You guys saw the glow up of this wig because I feel like I really transformed it and made it super duper cute and worked for me. So what I did was I showed you guys the wig fresh out the pack. Um, and when I, you know, when I looked at it, the hairline was definitely pre-plucked. Like it was definitely pre-plucked. So I have to give, you know, kudos to OMG Her Hair for actually tweezing the hairline. But what I noticed is the hairline was so low, like it was like in the middle of my forehead. I have a really big forehead, so the way that they constructed the hairline was for somebody that probably had a widow's peak or a lower hairline, but it was like, an, it was normal on the side. So it was a little bit awkward to me. So the hairline was pre-plucked, which is a great thing, but it was a little bit too low. So um, I had to cut into it and actually cut off the hairline about an inch or so so it would work with my hairline so you can make these wigs work for you because I feel like this looks so much better after I did that so so after that I cut the hairline and then because I cut the hairline I did have to tweeze it up just a little bit so it would make sense and then I washed it with some Aussie shampoo and conditioner I usually just co-wash my brand new human hair wigs but it had a slight smell to it so I wanted to go ahead and wash it Oh, so I did that and then I decided to mold it to a side part. I was just feeling the side part more than the middle part. And then I used my handy dandy Shea Moisture Coconut hot, coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse that I've been talking about the last few months because Kai put me on and I absolutely love it. This has made me love curly wigs and kinky curly wigs even more because I feel like it transformed the curl pattern. It is so soft and not crunchy. I will always sing the praises of this product because it's really good. And I finally re-upped and got another bottle. Like these are soft curls. These are not stiff at all. Soft curls. Gorgeous. I use my Felicia Leatherwood brush as well to clump the curls. And all the products I use to get this wig together will be in my Amazon storefront. So you know, go ahead and pick it up. I have all my wig essentials over there and a lot of other categories. So, you know, take a look around my Amazon storefront. I let it air dry with my fan back there while I did my makeup for about 45 minutes to an hour. And it is completely dry. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys the specs on this wig. And genuinely, OMG Her Hair is one of my favorite human hair companies. Um, I feel like they're relatively affordable and they have good products. How long is it? Okay, this is 14 inches, so this is gonna be for the ladies on my channel that love shorter wigs, but I gotta say, this is gorgeous, okay? Like I, the way that it was looking like fresh out the pack, it was kind of a pass, but baby, wash your curly wig and get it to your liking. Don't just wear it fresh out the pack, like. Mm. 14 inches, 180% density. Uh, this is a medium sized cap. As far as the cap goes, I don't, I do feel like a large would have been better for me because I'm not wearing this ear to ear. All of this here, my temple and my edges, that's my hair. But of course, this looks natural because it's a curly wig and I have kinky curly hair so I can, you know, mix it with the curly wig. So, not a big deal, but. I do feel like a, a, a large cap would be better. This is transparent lace. Um, it has invisible knots and it's clean bleach. It has a clean bleached hairline, adjustable straps, elastic band added. I do have that elastic band that's added to it and you know, it, it makes it easier to wear it glueless. If you wore it as a middle part, you probably could wear this glueless and it's 100% human hair. So let's see how much this is. This wig is $194 with my specs. That is good. That's a good price, y'all. I think it's good. Anything in the $100 range to me for a human hair wig is a good price. That's a great price. Okay, and they do have, you know, their Black Friday sale starts the 22nd through the 28th. This video is going up on the 21st. So, you know, if you like this wig, you know, take advantage of their Black Friday sale. They do have a pre-Black Friday sale as well. So if you don't want to wait, you can buy it right now or you can wait till, you know, when it starts on the 22nd through the 28th and save some more coins. So let's get into the pros and the cons of this wig. Overall, I really do like it. Like after I put my work into it, I think it's beautiful. I did have to tweeze the part because as you guys saw, it was kind of close. Like it had this like, I don't know, black spot where it was like 
very dense in the parting space so I did have to tweeze the parting space and so that was a little bit of a con because it was kind of weird in the park and I feel like the knots are slightly over bleached because when I went outside I am filming later in the day than I usually film I usually film in the mornings but it's like was it like five o'clock it's like 4 30 in the afternoon and when I went outside the lace did look a little bit orange so to me the knots are slightly over bleached I could do um some purple shampoo to kind of you know tone that down and neutralize the color so it's not as orange the cons aren't that bad to me um the oh, the biggest one to me is probably the knots being slightly over bleached but the pros this style is gorgeous i love the 14 inches it's not too short i feel like this is a nice everyday length the curls are gorgeous especially with this color oh this chestnut color it's gorgeous it really really is and it's so soft it's so soft because of this so overall i just think this is very beautiful i did not get a lot of shedding in the washing process you'll get some but you, it wasn't that much it's overall a really nice wig it's already really affordable without the black friday deal so if you're somebody you want to jump into human hair wigs this is another like affordable human hair company that i would recommend I have been working with OMG Her Hair since 2018. I've done countless wig reviews for them and I think they really do have great quality. So um, if you are interested in this wig from OMG Her Hair, I have all the links, all the Black Friday deals they have going on in the description box for you guys so you can purchase it. Shout out to OMG Her Hair for sponsoring today's video and shout out to you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. 